principles of drug therapy pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics refers to what the body does to a drug, whereas pharmacodynamics describes what the drug does to the body. Once administered through one of several available routes, four pharmacokinetic properties determine the speed of onset of drug action, the intensity of the drug's effect, and the duration of drug action. Absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. Absorption. First, drug absorption from the site of administration permits entry of the therapeutic agent, either directly or indirectly, into plasma. Distribution Second, the drug may then reversibly leave the bloodstream and distribute into the interstitial and intracellular fluids. Metabolism Third, the drug may be biotransformed by metabolism by the liver or other tissues. Elimination Finally, the drug and its metabolites are eliminated from the body in urine, bile, or feces. Pharmacokinetic parameters allow the clinician to design and optimize treatment regimens, including decisions as to the route of administration for a specific drug, the amount and frequency of each dose, and the duration of treatment. Routes of drug administration The route of administration is determined primarily by the properties of the drug for example, water or lipid solubility, ionization, and by the therapeutic objectives, for example, the desirability of a rapid onset of action, the need for long-term treatment, or restriction of delivery to a local site. Major routes of drug administration include enteral, parenteral, and topical, among others. The enteral route Enteral administration or administering drug by mouth is the safest and most common, convenient, and economical method of drug administration. Once the drug is given in the mouth, it may be swallowed or it may be placed under the tongue, facilitating direct absorption into the bloodstream. Oral Giving a drug by mouth provides many advantages to the patient. Oral drugs are easily self-administered and compared to drugs given parenterally, have a low risk of systemic infections that could complicate treatment. Moreover, toxicities and overdose by the oral route may be overcome with antidotes such as activated charcoal. On the other hand, the pathways involved in oral drug absorption are the most complicated, and the low pH of the stomach may inactivate some drugs. A wide range of oral preparations is available including enteric coated and extended release preparations. Enteric coated preparations. An enteric coating is a chemical envelope that resists the action of the fluids and enzymes in the stomach, but dissolves readily in the upper intestine. Such coating is useful for certain groups of drugs, for example, omeprazole, that are acid-unstable. 
Enteric coatings protect the drug from stomach acid, delivering them instead to the less acidic intestine, where the coating dissolves and allows the drug to be released. Similarly, drugs that have an irritant effect on the stomach, such as aspirin, can be coated with a substance that will dissolve only in the small intestine, thereby protecting the stomach. Extended Release Preparations Extended release medications have special coatings or ingredients that control how fast the drug is released from the pill into the body. Having a longer duration of action may improve in patient compliance because the medication does not have to be taken as often. Additionally, Extended release dosage forms may maintain concentrations within an acceptable therapeutic range over a long period of time, as opposed to immediate release dosage forms, which may result in larger peaks and troughs in plasma concentrations. These extended release formulations are advantageous for drugs with short half-lives. For example, the half-life of morphine is 2 to 4 hours in adults. Oral morphine must be administered 6 times in 24 hours to obtain a continuous analgesic effect. However, only two doses are needed when controlled release tablets are used. Sublingual Placement under the tongue allows a drug to diffuse into the capillary network and therefore to enter the systemic circulation directly. Sublingual administration of an agent has several advantages, including rapid absorption, convenience of administration, low incidence of infection, bypass of the harsh gastrointestinal environment, and avoidance of first base metabolism, the drug is absorbed into the superior vena cover. The buccal route between cheek and gum is similar to the sublingual route. In the next video, we will talk about the parenteral route of drug administration.